so in the last part we saw how to solve the buying plots problem and now uh, we will take up another problem that is the ladders problem that we have also discussed in recursion and dynamic programming videos but i will show you you can also solve this problem using sliding window right so let's go through the question and the question says there is a ladder which contains n steps such that from every step you can take a jump uh, of of size 1 2 3 and up to a maximum of k where k is given in the input and you need to find out the number of ways you need to reach to the top right so we have seen that uh, the question is something like this let's say you have n equals to 4 k equals to 3 and which means if you are standing at ground you can jump to this position this position and this position because k is 3 you can take a maximum jump of 3 right and let's say you have to reach to the top and you will want to figure out how many ways are there right so let's say this is the nth step and you can reach this step from this step and this step and this step right n minus 1 n minus 2 and up to up to n minus k right so if we think recursively we have seen that the recurrence is going to be f of n equals to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 plus f of n minus 3 plus up to up to f of n minus k all right so which basically means in order to reach this point you you can take jumps from uh, all these steps and f is a function which denotes you the number of ways to reach a particular point right so if you know the number of ways to reach this point this point and this point you can add those up to get the number of ways to reach this point because uh, what we are doing is you uh, there is also one way which goes like this but that way is already counted when you talk about uh, the ways to reach uh, this step right so we are not worried about that we are just worried about from how many steps back you can reach the nth step right? so this is the recurrence that we have already derived so look out for my DP webinar if you have not seen that so that this type of problem we can again solve using a sliding window approach because if you see uh, let's say and this is what uh, array is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so let's say what uh, let's talk about n equals to 1 so if there is one step and k is 3 so there is only one way so you take a one jump and reach here if n is 2 then there are two ways you do 1 1 or you take a jump of 2 so answer is going to be 2 if n is 3 you know there are going to be ways like this 1 1 1 1 2 2 1 and 3 so there is going to be 4 ways if n is 4 you know you can if there are 4 steps you can come from this point you can come from this point and you can also come from this point right and you cannot come from 0th position right because the maximum k in this case is 3 so for n equals to 4 you can see the ways are 1 1 1 1 1 2 1 2 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 and 3 1 and 1 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are 7 such ways right and clearly using this recurrence also you can see the number of ways is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 4 so you are adding last k elements to get the answer at this position so this comes out to be 7 right so using sliding window can you tell me what answer should come at this place so if n is 5 and you want to figure out how many ways uh, are there to reach fifth step you can clearly say it is the sum of last k elements so it is going to be 7 plus 4 11 plus 2 it is going to be 13 and what is uh, the answer for n equals to 6 so it is going to be sum of these elements right so if i just write down the recurrence you can say let's say you are making some array so you can say array of i is going to be sum of this window sorry so to make this window you you need to uh yeah you need to have uh, you need to add this element to this white window so that your sliding window becomes like this and you subtract this element so that you get this window right so this element array of 5 you need to add right to the sum let's say the old sum plus the array of 5 which is array of i minus 1 
and you subtract this element which is array of i minus k and old sum is equal to nothing but array of i right? because if you carefully look look at uh, what is the sum of this element what is this sum this is nothing but this element right so it is again array of i minus 1 right? so your recurrence sorry so your recurrence uh, becomes something like this right uh, let me just clarify you you have an array like this one uh, two okay one two uh, four and you have a seven here suppose you want to build your answer for this value of n right what do you need to do you need to sum the last n elements right so one way is you uh, go to the last n elements and sum them up so it comes out to be uh, this was your 7 right so it comes out to be 13 right but how we can derive this sum from the previous window that is what i am talking about so the previous window was this window and the sum was stored here right so you need to construct your green window from the yellow window so to make the green window you need to add 7 to the yellow window so green equals to yellow plus 7 minus 1 so yellow window is this window okay and let's say this is the sum you want to make about and this can be expressed as if you move yellow window by one position to the right right so that you can do using uh, in the yellow window you add a 7 and you subtract a 1 here right so sum of yellow window so yellow window is 1 plus 2 plus 4 4 plus 2 is 6 and this is 7 so this 7 is nothing but this this element only right so let's say this is array of uh, you are building your answer let's say this is your answer so answer is going to be nothing but and let's say this index is i so this index comes out to be a of i minus 1 so yellow window sum is nothing but a of i minus 1 7 is nothing but a of i minus 1 and minus 1 right so this is i uh, so this is k and this is back so you subtract array of a of i minus k right so it comes out to be 2 of a of i minus a of i minus k right so you can use sliding window to solve the lattice problem also and if you use recursion it takes exponential time right it takes k raised to the power n time if you use dynamic programming which we have seen it takes n into k time and if you use sliding window it takes n plus k time right so implementation part is easy as i said implementation is not very difficult you just need to iterate over the entire array and use this recurrence and you will get the result for every value of n right Similarly, I have two more problems for you guys, which you can practice. So the first problem that you have to try is you need to find out the largest sub array with less than k distinct elements. So this is the question you have to try. So you are given n elements and a number k and you will find the longest sub array, which does not contain more than distinct k distinct elements, right? For example, one, three, two, five, six, four and okay and let's say this is also two right? so let's say um, k is three so the longest sub array that does not contain more than three distinct elements is this sub array right so you have to again use some kind of sliding window and your hashing concepts to solve this uh, kind of a problem right so this is your homework and you have to come up with a solution and the other problem you you have to try is yeah maximum uh, maximum of every window right so let me just uh, tell you what you need to do so you are given an array of integers of size n your goal is to calculate a maximum sum of k consecutive elements of the array uh, this one is easy right so this is easy and another problem let me give you another problem which says uh, given a uh, given an array 
like this one three two six five and you have to print the maximum element for every window of size k let's say this is a window and you will print what is the maximum of this window it is three the next window is this maximum is six the next window is this the maximum is five so your output will give you should give you the maximum element of every sub array of size k and try to do it in order of n time so again this is an interesting problem you should definitely try right so thanks a lot guys for watching this video and in the next series in the next part we will start with another topic right so thanks a lot see you guys in the next uh, video